Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog. This one's going to be quite exciting actually. We've got some <laughs> got some fun stuff planned here in Coral Bay and then heading to Exmouth after that. We have woken up. It is a really, really, really beautiful morning in Coral Bay and we've got a bit of a chilled out day today. I thought I would actually show you around what Coral Bay looks like. If you are planning on staying here, there's only really one place that you can stay. So I thought that I would show you this whole area and then tomorrow we have the most exciting plans ever, don't we? We do. I was just thinking I, I could do the tour in my classic hotel tour fashion. Oh yeah, do you remember when you, you haven't really done them in Australia, but in, in Asia. We haven't really stayed in any hotel. Well, we haven't stayed in any hotel. No, we've not. So I'll do a little tour of Coral Bay for Tom's you. Tom's tour, pending. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good morning. Welcome to our brand new West Coast vlog. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, all of that good stuff. The link the link to my website is the top line in the video. I'm hammering this, guys, but um, we are really, really proud of our travel e-guides we're actually going to finish off the penultimate ones right now so a bit of a worky day as well so yeah that'll be linked top line other than that we're gonna get straight into it let's go oh do you want to show them my outfit real quick tom's narrative okay well then i was just saying i really like the skirt actually and it reminds me any football fans of like a, an 80s liverpool away kit brilliant it's that kind of color it's nice they're always the best kits yeah Rum actually... rumored to be this year's colored kit as well it's gonna have What's that kind green? it's gonna have that kind of what it's gonna be green and white mainly white but it's gonna have that kind of green on it i love that color green oh thank you it's from cotton um, on as is the bikini bikini uh, is very nice thank you also from cotton on that reminds me of the mystery machine from scooby-doo brilliant great so you've got scooby-doo x liverpool 80s great and then the bandanana the bandanana so this is the way in. You've got a little, I don't even know what that is there. A news agency on this side, just down here. And then a sweet shop there. And then on this side, we've got the dive shop, which is where we booked, actually no, we didn't book our excursion from there. We had a look in there. We booked our excursion from the Coastal Adventure Tour, which is just here. So you can book everything in this little resort, which is really handy. On this side, we've got the bakery, which is where we're gonna go now for a quick coffee. So uh, the bakery looks pretty cool. On this side, we've got the food works which is just essentially just a big food shop. It's actually really handy. Um, it's got everything we've needed. It even had corn for Molly, which is a, a big win. And it's not extortionately priced either. Would recommend it. And then here is like a jet treks area. So I think that's more for like jet skis and more adventurous water activities. Um, dune buggies as well. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. You can maybe check that out as well. And then down there, it looks like there is some prints and gift shops, fishing area fishing tours, and then this is all like a seating area in the glorious sunshine. And there's Molly. This is our spot for the day, guys. Have you ever seen a beach so beautiful? I mean, the water is just so blue. It stretches just for miles, and it's in this like little closed off bay, so it's just really private. The sand is super white, we've laid the towel down. This is our spot for the next couple of hours until the UV drops off, because obviously, because it's winter, the sun isn't that strong. So, height of the day, we're gonna be here, and then when it chills off a little bit, we're gonna head back to the campsite. This is my outfit of the evening. We're going for pizza at the restaurant that is kind of on the campsite. So I've put a little bit of effort in, not loads. Basically put on a, what is this called? A play suit. This is from White Fox. I've actually not worn it, but it is really, really cute. It is also sunset. I'm super excited guys, because I'm so hungry. It's a little pizza pasta restaurant. Don't know what I'm going to have yet. Here is Tom. He's also Hello. put in a bit of effort. Look how nice he looks. I haven't worn a shirt for a while, so no. I just thought I would uh, treat myself. I'm used to just wearing t-shirts now. So. And you've had a shave and you look so tanned. I don't know, what, look at the difference in the color of you versus me compared to earlier today. We started out the same and Tom tanned so much better than me. Oh my Lord. We ordered family sized pizzas under the pretense, right? Well, not under the pretense. We actually are going to do this. We're going to save some slices for tomorrow because we don't actually have dinner plans tomorrow evening and we're going to be in the car. So I thought amazing. We could save the pizza. That is why they're so big. Okay. This looks so good. Doesn't this just look insane? And I've got a cute date for the night as well. Bloody buzzing. And I've got some wedges. And Tom's got a bucket of potato wedges. We were umming and ahhing. We were like, should we get chips? Should we get wedges? And Tom was like, oh, well, I'm might not be enough in the wedges and I was like no nah, no nah, there will be look at the size of that are you joking no they don't that is great value for money as well oh I'm so excited to meet this guys I am thoroughly buzzing I really wish I mean I know I'm literally just filming a black screen for you I wish this camera brought out the stars like oh my gosh the lack of pollution here means that these stars are so visible I've never seen anything like it honestly it is ridiculous it's like 
a dream. Okay guys, we are back from food. I have my phone torch on, so this is super bright. I spent most of the evening working since that. We had a nice little date night. Dinner was amazing. And now we have just been cracking on with the vlog because we have no time at all tomorrow because we have a full day activity, which is going to see the whale sharks, going to swim with the whale sharks, snorkeling with them. Oh my gosh, am I excited. This has been a bucket list goal of both me and Tom for the longest time. Ever since we really got into like scuba diving, snorkeling, that kind of thing, whale sharks has been on the list and that is something that western australia is super famous for so we have really been looking forward to tomorrow like it has been the thing we've been talking about we've been like can't wait for when we're gonna do the whale shark diving can't wait for when we're gonna swim with the whale shark also i keep calling it a dive and it's not we're going snorkeling with them but yeah tomorrow is gonna be a big day we're excited aren't we we're very excited it's gonna be so so fun so i'm gonna go to sleep and we have to be up bright and early i think my alarm is gonna be set for six because we are leaving at about seven to go out on the boat for the entire day on ningaloo reef so it's gonna be probably the best day of the west coast road trip so far i'm gonna say it so i'll pick you up in the morning good morning it is bright and early as you can probably tell by my appearance and i have just got ready i've got a bikini on under this outfit we are heading to the boat to do the whale shark diving and i i'm so excited tom has just popped to try and get a little bit of breakfast from the bakery opposite and then we are going to set off we actually do really need to get going but yeah it's going to be a big day it's a full day activity i think it's like nine hours we booked this through get your guide we booked it weeks ago i would definitely say if you want to do this when you're in coral bay or exmouth book it in advance because it gets really booked up it's so popular so we booked this on get your guide and as i've mentioned before you can actually get 10 percent off when you guys do get your guide with the code molly10 that is on first app download so like if you've never used get your guide before but you want to book something you can get 10% off your first booking so that will be in the description so that is how we organized this trip and we're gonna go now so we headed over to coral bay eco tours to kind of have like a morning briefing and meet everybody else that was going to be in our group and then we headed over to get on the boat um and basically to start with we had like a little sail around the ningaloo reef that is just off of the shore so we got in here and did a little snorkel stop before we went out onto the open ocean because obviously the whale sharks are not up the reef like it's too shallow the, the whale sharks don't come in that close um so this was kind of just a little warm-up this was me trying to dive down but on Oh my god i was just terrible at it guys the wetsuit was making me so buoyant i was floating so much i just couldn't do it i look stupid um but the reef here is just stunning we saw so many turtles and fish and then before we knew it guys we were back in the water seeing the whale sharks now this obviously was what the day was about so we sailed from the reef into the open ocean and about two and a half hours later we spotted the whale sharks and got straight in the water and the way this worked was one group went in and then another group went in and we kind of rotated and swapped so that there was never too many people surrounding it and yeah we actually saw four different whale sharks these are not all the same one like there were so so many in this area which was just amazing <laughs> So I wanted to do a little review and roundup of the whale shark experience because I didn't film anything else yesterday mainly because guys i was not well <laughs> and we also just drove straight to exmouth by the way if you're a fellow brit watching this i am aware that we pronounce exmouth as exmouth but in australia it's exmouth so just to put that up <laughs> i didn't film anything past the actual whale sharks and to be fair tom was the one capturing that footage on the gopro because he's a lot better at using it underwater than i am because i was really seasick guys this has actually never happened to me before so i've always felt seasick like i'm the worst for travel sickness and motion sickness and all of that but i've never actually thrown up from it yesterday i was sort of like flick off the back of the boat about four times which was really not good really really embarrassing more than anything i'm like oh my god i can't believe i'm telling you it was embarrassing enough living it out in front of like 20 people and now i'm just putting it on the internet but i want to be honest because i would have appreciated knowing beforehand just how choppy it was going to be like it didn't put me off doing it because they did say when we booked it like oh if you get travel sick bring travel sickness tablets but a lot of people say that and a lot of places say that 
as a precaution so i got some and i took them clearly they didn't work luckily it happened after i'd swam with the whale shark so everybody else did five swims with the whale shark and i think i did like three or four basically i only missed the very very end and i'd seen like three different whale sharks like different sharks as well it was amazing it was just to be honest unreal it feels like a dream it feels like a dreamt that i swam with this massive fish towards the end of it i started to really not feel good and actually it felt worse in the water because we were in the open ocean the actual sea was so choppy that when we were in it it was really hard to like stay in one place you were kind of being like bashed around a lot and like i kept losing tom and i was like a bit panicked as well because i'm not a very strong swimmer and obviously it was super safe the boat was amazing it followed you everywhere and this was part of why it was so choppy i think obviously it had to be such a small boat for them to be able to follow the whale shark really quickly like if you were in a massive boat it wouldn't have been able to turn around as quickly and to like move as quickly to follow where the whale shark was however because of that it meant that the boat was really feeling everything on the ocean and then yeah we'd been back on the boat for about an hour and i was sat there and i was really 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 trying not to be sick and the staff was so lovely on board like i really want to give a massive shout out to the staff on board for thunder with coral bay eco tours because every single one of them was just so kind they kept bringing me ginger they kept bringing me just everything obviously there are boat stuff there are used to people getting seasick but i surprised myself i didn't think i would actually be sick i kind of stood up and i was like i'm really not good i'm really not good and like my bodily instincts just kicked in and i just went to the back of the boat and just chundered everywhere which really wasn't great it was so embarrassing but at least it was in the ocean and not on the actual boat so yeah after that as you can imagine wasn't feeling very good um i actually just felt so dizzy for the rest of the day like even when i got here and i went to the shower like i was standing in the shower and i was like having to hold onto the side of the the shower because i felt like i was still moving however all of that aside i really don't think it should put you off because this was a once in a lifetime incredible experience and i also want to note that not a single other person and on board the boat got seasick just me so like i really think unless you know you get motion sick and seasick you don't really need to take these sort of precautions because nobody else was bothered by it like i say it was absolutely worth it it was just insane to see this massive massive whale shark like well so many of them some of them were babies actually um but the first one that we swam with was just huge and as you saw in tom's videos like you can't really get a scale for it but like how incredible was it tom it's just like an experience that you just can't really describe yeah and that you'll never forget. It's just so good, yeah literally like once in a lifetime because yeah i would definitely say if you're doing the west coast you have to book it come up to exmouth or to coral bay personally i really do recommend the tour we did like the eco tours in coral bay everybody was just so lovely everybody was so nice but i did just want to include like why i didn't vlog anything immediately afterwards and also like you know be honest <laughs> and tell you what happened even though i am so embarrassed and a little bit ashamed anyway we are now in exmouth and we are going to spend today exploring this town it is the biggest town on the west coast probably since Perth I would say there is a lot of stuff going on here probably most famous for the whale sharks but we actually did that down in Coral Bay I would say other than that it's probably most famous for its beautiful national park which we're gonna head there but first we're gonna go and get a coffee my stomach's still feeling a little uneasy I can't lie but last night I was like oh, I don't know if I really want to eat or if I really need to eat I don't know I, I couldn't work out what I wanted but now I think want some food <laughs> So this is like the little town of Exmouth. You've got kind of a mini high street going on here, guys. All undercover, of course. Australia love these canopies. You've got a couple of cafes, supermarket here on this side, a couple of shops. It's actually really cute. It's definitely bigger than anywhere else that we've been for sure. This town, I mean rightly so, is obsessed with the whale shark. It's everywhere. You can't avoid it. It's on all the walls, it's on the floors. It's just they've adopted it as their like national animal of the town i think and you know what i get it i actually do it is a bloody cool animal and this is a really good painting and so is this one there's this cute little street where you've got this is an ice cream parlor a couple of shops and then a cafe we just popped in here to get um takeaway coffee yeah i really like the vibes here it definitely feels like a bit more of a holiday resort i don't know if that's just because it is still quite busy obviously with it being warm here but it's nice isn't it it's meant to be a bit of a a tropical surf version of Beverly. Yeah. What, just because it's a small town? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I was facing all the sunlight while our feet swung freely from the bridge. The bridge. You asked if I'd save you. We 
are at the Turtle Center. It is actually not the season at the moment to see turtles on the beaches. They hatch and like come onto the shore during the summer months to have their little baby turtles. Not this time of year, but we are still having a little read of what's in the Turtle Center because obviously we've seen quite a few turtles in the last couple of days. I'm pretty sure the ones we saw were green turtles, but I could be wrong. It's actually really interesting. I've never really thought about them in this much depth before, but like, yeah, this is, probably a cooler location to visit during the summer months i think you can actually go down onto the beach and watch them hatching and like you know observe them i'm pretty sure that they do it in the night basically guys all of this is just the most beautiful stretch of coastline the waters are just so incredibly blue in fact in this direction there is actually a bay called turquoise bay and i feel like that's the best color description for the water because it is just like bright turquoise especially out here but this is actually the same reef that we were swimming in yesterday with the whale sharks but just further south so coral bay is like about 80 more kilometers in that direction i think that might be wrong um but the reef stretches the whole coastline so that's why the water is this color because it's all really really shallow until you get to like the drop off where the open ocean starts which you can actually see just about the waves are breaking on the horizon line so i think that's what makes this area super super special it's also actually a unesco world heritage site and i'm never too sure what that actually means but there are a lot of them in the world and the barrier reef Actually, no, the Barrier Reef is a wonder of the world. Um, but this is honestly just a really, really beautiful stretch of coastline. And I think that you should definitely make Ningaloo and the whole Ningaloo Reef region an absolute must visit on your Western Australia road trip. Tom's just appeared and he's poking me with a stick. I was just thinking this would be a great stick for a slingshot. That would be a like really stick. great stick for a slingshot. Anyway, we're going to head back to the van now. We've been exploring all morning. We've just been driving along and getting out and having a look at various different places in the national park various different stretches of beach um, and enjoying the sunshine as well it is really warm guys like it's a hot day there's flowers in the kitchen i can hear them buzzing so i woke up the sky is on fire and it is beautiful. Stupidly didn't charge my vlogging camera. It's the first time I've done that this trip. So hello from my iPhone. Uh, hopefully the audio is okay. But we are actually going for drinks this evening at a place called the Whalebone Brewery, which is quite famous here in Exmouth. And we're actually meeting one of our friends, Freya, who we met on the Welcome to Travel Tour in Sydney, just randomly also happens to be here in Exmouth. The exact dates that we are and our free evening aligned so that sunday was like when we had spare time so we're gonna go out for dinner with her i think tom might be in this shot i'm not really sure hopefully don't know what you can see because i'm filming it on the back camera but um yeah super excited because we're about to go and see freya we haven't hung out with anybody else that we know already for what three weeks now it's maybe longer while. actually because i guess while. adelaide as well yeah yeah we have just been enjoying each other's company for five straight weeks Enjoying. Enjoying. <laughs> Enjoying. <laughs> no, it will be so nice to socialise with yeah. a friend. So it'll be nice. It'll be nice to see her. Yeah. And I've heard really great things about this well bone brewery. Apparently they have live music on tonight. So yeah, it's gonna be good. What day is it? Sunday. Oh yeah, the should be something going on there. Yeah. It is now the next day and I have charged my camera. That's bloody good. Who charged her? Tom charged her. Exactly. But we have just come into Exmouth. I've grabbed a coffee from the bakery. 10 out of 10 recommend this coffee over the cafe that we went to yesterday actually. Sometimes, and I've noticed this actually a lot in West Australia, the bakeries do the best coffees. But I'm actually gonna end this Coral Bay slash Exmouth vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you are planning a trip to Western Australia, you absolutely must add the whale shark swim to your bucket list. Even though I know I sat and chatted yesterday about how seasick it made me, I definitely still think that was a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'll probably never do it again. And the more I chat to other people that have done it, like when we saw Freya last night, it was just like, yeah, that is such an insane experience to have got to do. Oh, also, how good was the Whalebone Brewery that we were at last night? Yeah, it was really nice, really nice vibe. It was like um, all rustic yeah uh, like it was if you was in like a, i don't know how to describe it like a yard yeah like a builder's like yard a, sort yeah of. it was really cool they had like a big flatbed um truck where yeah. you could like sit on and stuff and, and they had like a live cool. band on that was really good and i think it was just the atmosphere like it was the most people we've seen on the west coast for sure it was so busy and i was like where have all these people come from this town is tiny but yeah. for a sunday night really great atmosphere really great pizza if you're ever in x and you're looking for something to do in an evening 
definitely check that out. Anyway, I am gonna go now because we are heading inland into the outback for a little bit. So there will be another vlog coming very, very soon. This is not the end yet, even though Exmouth is as far north as we're traveling, this is not our last destination. If you have enjoyed this one though, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new. Let me know if you have ever swum with whale shark or if you would like to. And as always, my travel guides will be the top link in the description as well because two brand new ones just went live. Definitely check that out. And now I'm done waffling, so I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>